I always felt God was very distant. He was a way to get to heaven rather than having a personal relationship with him. The main purpose why we would go to church is so that we wouldn't go to hell. I started competitively figure skating when I was 12 and for like seven years, I was skating all of the time. I just really love the experience of just being free and moving my body the way that I want to and not really caring about what other people think around me. My dream um, at that point was to get to the senior level and compete at the Worlds. I kind of went through a process where I was going to really become the best skater on my team. On my team, there were a lot of people who rejected me. Had a really rough time with people in school. A lot of family things were going on. So my mom got in a, an accident when I was 14. She did her best, but because she got in the accident, we lost a bit of her because she just wasn't able to give it to us. I kind of had to start taking a lot more responsibilities. I had pressures of school, I had the pressures of my family saying, you need to make money. I basically lived at the rink. It was kind of like where I really was feeling comforted and would kind of go to get away. At the age of 16, I got in a really bad car accident where I got a concussion and I wasn't able to skate for three months and I wasn't able to go to school for three months and I wasn't really able to do anything. All of my comfort was gone. Everything that I had was gone. I actually had a season of physiotherapy, so I was trying to get all of my thinking back, my brain activity back, and so that was a moment when I was thinking to myself, I may never get back to the place where I was in skating again. I just started sobbing, and I couldn't breathe, and I had never felt that way before. It was a really, really hard revelation. I didn't value myself anymore, and I didn't realize that I didn't value myself because no one else was really giving in to me. For my whole life, I've been going to this summer camp and it's a Christian camp. At the camp, they always talk about God, but I never really experienced it, I guess. That was the year that I actually like saw God kind of start to move in me. And I think, honestly, it was due to me losing everything. That gave me an opportunity to kind of look for something else, that I didn't have this stronghold to skating. That was the first time I could actually experience people investing in me. The first time in so long that I felt valued and I felt like people actually cared about me. We had like an altar call. God gave me this image. I was standing on the top of the cliff and then I just felt the urge to run. So I started running and then he said to jump off the cliff. And so I was like, <laughs> and so I jumped off the cliff and he caught me and he embraced me and I felt the most love that I had ever felt in my life. In that time, I said, yes, Jesus, I give my life to you. I want to jump off this cliff and trust in you and trust that you will be there to catch me. God really spoke to me that I needed to do a Bible school. BBS was my most transformative season. The word transforms you in a way that you never would experience in any other way. From Genesis to Revelation, there is just so much to understand about God's character, about his nature. Sure, I heard about it from people, but I never got to experience it like I did when I was reading the Bible. And how he cared about me like he did those characters in the Bible. That he made me, that he knit me together reading Psalms from David and understanding like how he wrote love songs to God. And I was feeling those songs. I wasn't just reading them. I was feeling the experiences because God was with me. Everything changed for me after I did that school. He was the closest I had ever felt him. I found God and then I found worth and then I found love and then I found everything that I needed. 
God has given me a heart to love people. I think my purpose in this life is to really just take the love that God has given me and share that with people and let them know how deeply loved they are by me, but especially by God, that they can have this freedom that I have.